lab is going to be uh, the chemical formulas lab. Um, you are only going to do part B, so you're going to find the empirical formula of some kind of copper sulfide compound. So you're going to try to determine whether it's copper 1 sulfide or copper 2 sulfide. So you'll need to know the formulas of copper 1 sulfide and copper 2 sulfide. Um, sometimes in this lab, you don't always get uh, copper 1 sulfide or copper 2 sulfide. You get a mixture of both of them. So if your chemical formula, once you determine it, um, doesn't match copper 1 sulfide or copper 2 sulfide, it's okay. It's the process of getting to that empirical formula um, that you're after today. So in the hood, I have set up a ring stand with a ring, an iron ring, and a clay triangle. So the clay triangle is going to hold the crucible um, while we heat it with the Bunsen burner. Uh, I also have my chemicals out. I have sulfur and copper. We're gonna take that copper over to the balance in a few minutes um, to get the mass of that. And then I also have um, some crucible tongs so that I can carry it. Because um, after you heat up your crucible the first time, you do not want to touch it again because you're trying to heat to a constant mass. So the oils from your fingers um, could affect that mass. So you don't want to touch it. Also, after it comes off of the Bunsen burner, it's going to be very, very hot. Uh, I also have my crucible and lid um, in the hood waiting for it to be cleaned. So I'll do the cleaning in just a second. And I also have a striker. So the first part of this lab is going to be cleaning the crucible. Um, so to clean the crucible, which is um, porcelain, um, we're going to heat it up. We're gonna heat it till it kind of glows red and then we have to let it cool off. So to clean it, you're going to use the Bunsen burner um, to heat it off. So that's gonna burn off anything that might be left over from any other reactions. So I'm going to move that to my clay triangle. And I'm also going to kind of put the lid on it. Um, if anything needs, actually, I'm not going to put the lid on it yet. I'm going to heat it for about five minutes without the lid so we can clean out anything that's in the bottom of that crucible. And then just to make sure that the lid is also clean, I'll put that on after five minutes. So I have already kind of adjusted my Bunsen burner and um, to my ring. So when I light it over here, I can just slide it under there and we'll be good to go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to turn on the gas. That's what um, the blue hose is that's connected to the gas. Um, I always want to light my Bunsen burner um, away from my ring stand. Okay. So I don't want to try to light it when there's stuff on the ring stand. That's a good way to break things. So I'm gonna turn on some gas. And you won't be able to hear this, but I can kind of hear the gas coming through the Bunsen burner and then I will strike it. Okay. So this is the striker and this is the part where the spark comes in. You don't wanna play with the spark of the striker. You wanna push up and over at the same time and have that directed over your Bunsen burner, close to the gas, okay? So again, I'm gonna turn the gas on, and then I'm going to strike my striker, and then I'm gonna very carefully, I can handle the Bunsen burner from the bottom here because it's not gonna get very hot. I'm going to just slide it very carefully underneath my ring stand, um, underneath the ring, and then I'll just wait for that to heat up. Okay, so it's been a while since we cleaned our crucible. I left it here in the hood to cool. Um, so to judge whether or not it is cool enough that we can take it over to the balance. Again, you don't want to touch it. Even though I have gloves, I still don't want to touch it. One, in case it's still hot and burns me. And two, there might be stuff in my gloves. I still don't want to get it on my crucible. I want to know that when I take the mass of my crucible 
in my lid that is just the mass of the crucible and the lid. So then we know that it's just the mass of the crucible, lid, and copper stuff uh, later on in the experiment. So to test whether or not it's hot or cold or cool enough to take um, to the balance, I'm just gonna put my hands around it. And if it's radiating a lot of heat, that means it's not cool enough. Um, so mine has cooled off completely. Um, so I'm going to take it over to the balance with my copper turnings to get the mass of the copper. Uh, first, I'm gonna get the mass of the crucible and lid together, empty. Then I'll put my copper in it and so we can get the mass of just the copper. Um, so I have to walk over from the hood back to the back of the room where the balances are. Um, so just as a note, I'm going to um, do that very carefully so that I don't drop it. This is again porcelain, um, so it's gonna be very fragile. Um, so what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna put it on my, crucible, on my wire gauze hold the wire gauze and use my, uh, my I want to use my crucible tongs. Okay, here I am at the balance. I have my crucible that I'm about to put on the balance. Uh, remember that when you come over to the balance, you want to turn it on and then make sure that it is zeroed out um, before you put anything on the balance. Also, remember to bring something to write your masses down on, okay? So we're going to get on your report sheet, the mass of number two, the mass of the crucible and the cover, and then we'll do the mass of the crucible, cover, and copper. Um, Okay, so we have the mass of our crucible and cover. So I'm gonna take that cover off and then I want to put in my copper. So I'm gonna take that off. Uh, and then once I get my copper in there, I'm going to put the lid back on so that we can find um, number one, the mass of the crucible and the copper. So I think it's gonna be easier if I work from the side here. And we need to measure out about one and a half to two grams of copper. Um, so here is the copper. Okay, you can see that it's kind of like in little coils. Um, it's like a wiry type substance. Um, if you were doing this in lab, you would want to be very careful with it because if you slice it across your hand or your skin, it will give you something similar to a very nasty paper cut. Um, so you would want to be careful with this. I have gloves on, so I should be good. I guess it could slice up in my gloves too. Um, so we're gonna look for that number to go up about one and a half to two grams. Uh, and then we wanna make sure that we do get the exact mass of our copper. Okay, so I want it to be about one and a half to two grams. So I'm gonna put my lid back on it. And then I wanna record the mass of my copper crucible and cover.